Let's check out rule 35. This one is, this one's big, uh, <laughs> it's a big oh. mouthful. It just kind of goes on and, uh, uh, uh. and you don't really know what it's talking about until you draw it out or read it 400 times. Okay. <clears throat> Rule 35, sound signals in restricted visibility. In or near an area of restricted visibility, whether by day or night, the signal prescribed in this rule shall be used as follows. A power-driven vessel making way through the water shall sound at intervals of not more than two minutes, one prolonged blast. A power-driven vessel underway but stopped and making no way through the water shall sound at intervals of not more than two minutes, two prolonged blasts in succession with an interval of about two seconds between them. A vessel not under command. A vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver, whether underway or at anchor. A sailing vessel. A vessel engaged in fishing, whether underway or at anchor. And a vessel engaged in towing or pushing another vessel shall, instead of the signals prescribed in paragraphs A or B of this rule, sound at intervals of not more than two minutes, three blasts in succession. Namely, one prolonged followed by two short blasts. <clears throat> a vessel towed, or if more than one vessel is towed, the last vessel of the tow, if manned, shall at intervals of not more than two minutes sound four blasts in succession. Namely, one prolonged followed by three short blasts. When practicable, this signal shall be made immediately after the signal made by the towing vessel. When a pushing vessel and a vessel being pushed ahead are rigidly connected in a composite unit, they shall be regarded as a power-driven vessel and shall give the signals prescribed in paragraphs A or B of this rule. Rule 35 continued, page 123. A vessel at anchor shall at intervals of not more than one minute ring the bell rapidly for about five seconds. In a vessel of 100 meters or more in length, the bell shall be sounded in the fore part of the vessel, and immediately after the ringing of the bell, the gong shall be sounded rapidly for about five seconds in the after part of the vessel. A vessel at anchor may, in addition, sound three blasts in succession, namely one short, one prolonged, and one short blast to give warning of her position and of the possibility of collision to an approaching vessel. A vessel of ground shall give the bell and, if required, the gong signal prescribed in paragraph F of this rule and shall, in addition, give three separate and distinct strokes on the bell immediately before and after the rapid ringing of the bell. A vessel of ground may, in addition, sound an appropriate whistle signal. A vessel of less than 12 meters in length shall not be obliged to give the above mentioned signals, but if she does not, she shall make some other efficient sound signal at intervals of not more than two minutes. A pilot vessel when engaged on pilotage duty may, in addition to the signals prescribed in paragraph A, B, or F of this rule, sound an identity signal consisting of four short blasts. The following vessels shall not be required to sound signals as prescribed in paragraph F of this rule when anchored in a special anchorage area designated by the secretary a vessel of less than 20 meters in length, and a barge, canal, boat, scow, or other nondescript craft. So what does that mean? Let's look at that. It means, here we are again, overnight rooms for sale plus supper, not under command, restricted fishing, sailing, and a tow sound one prolonged too short restricted in fishing whether underway or at anchor sound one prolonged too short power driven vessel underway making way sounds one prolonged underway not making way sounds too prolonged Moving, not moving. <laughs> okay, the tug and the tow. The tug, one prolonged, too short. If practicable, the last man tow sounds one prolonged, three short. 
A pilot vessel may make an identity signal consisting of four short blasts in succession. I am your pilot. Good. And then there are some exceptions. A vessel of less than 12 meters in length shall not be obliged to give the above mentioned signals, but if she does not, she shall make... Oh, excuse me. I'm on the wrong track. These are vessels underway in restricted visibility. Underway in restricted visibility, and they sound whistle signals. These are whistle signals at not more than two minute intervals. Now let's look at a ground and at anchor. I'm going to draw a line to separate these. Okay, so vessels not underway. Vessels not underway. They sound bells and gongs at not more than one minute intervals. So we Almost have... Almost continuously then. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So a vessel at anchor. A vessel at anchor less than a hundred meters Sounds five se seconds of rapid ringing of the bell. A vessel over a hundred meters sounds five seconds of rapid ringing of the bell on the fore part of the vessel, followed by five seconds of rapid gonging of the gong in the after part of the vessel. Vessel aground sounds the same thing plus three distinct strokes before and after the ringing of the bell. So, less than 100 meters, three distinct strokes of the bell, five seconds of rapid ringing of the bell, three distinct strokes of the bell, if you're under 100. If you are over 100 meters, we get three distinct strokes of the bell, five seconds of rapid ringing of the bell, three distinct strokes of the bell, followed by five seconds of rapid gonging of the gong in the stern. A vessel at anchor and a vessel at ground may make a whistle signal to warn of risk of collision. One short, one prolonged, one short. This is optional. This is, they may make a whistle. And this is where the pilot came in. I threw it in too early. It says, a pilot vessel may make an identity signal consisting of four short blasts in succession. I am oh, your pilot. Not underway? Not underway. Okay. I messed that up. It's right here. I realized it when I said, A pilot vessel, when engaged on pilotage duty, may, in addition to the signals prescribed in A, B, or F of this rule, sound an identity signal consisting of four short blasts. A, B, or F. So instead of the power-driven vessel underway or the power-driven vessel not underway, and instead of the anchor signals she may make this a b or f this is a and b oh okay this so she can do it anytime then if she's underway yeah 
anchor or ground? Yeah, it's kind of coded in there. It's okay. hard to pick out. Here's, this is A, B, and this is F. 